Hey everyone! Hey. hey! Today we're doing a update on the boys and how they're doing in school and just giving you an overview of what our new morning routine, um, or more so my day, how my day's going. I think we already did a morning routine that just shows general family morning routine, but we'll just talk about how um, my schedule is now that the boys, or two of the boys, are in school. Stay tuned! Hi. Hi. How's school going, guys? Good. Good. Center time. You like center time? And what else did you like? <laughs> lunch. Lunch. Center time and lunch. Salmon, what are you doing? Wait, you always did an interview on this. No, I'm doing a new one. That one I got that got lost, so I have to do it again. So, how's it going? Good. Good. So, so, what do you like so, most so. about school? Math. You like and math? reading. And math. And and reading. My specials. And your specials. What are your specials? What are the specials? What does that mean? Media, which is library. Mm -hmm. uh, physical education, mm -hmm. which is gym. Mm -hmm. Music. And uh, art. And art. Awesome. Levi, you like center time. Tell me about center time. Center time. Center teacher. I did. I. I go to my center sometimes. I go to my, I go to my go to my computer center. Computer center. Sometimes. Sometimes. What's another one? Like? The what? Look look center. Look look. What's look look center? Look at stuff. Like different. What time, last time you were looking at what leaves, right? <laughs> and you did leaf rubbings and stuff. I don't know how to make a leaf. You don't know how to make a leaf. Well, you gotta practice. Leaf rubbings can be kind of tricky sometimes. Oh, yeah. leaf rubbings! That's when you rub a leaf um, with a crayon. You put it underneath paper, and then you rub the crayon over the paper, and then you can see the um, the details of the leaf comes out on the paper. They're pretty cool. Pretty cool. Hey. Good. How you doing? Good. You have a pick. Mm -hmm. No, thank you. And this is why you don't get these. You don't get these. How's it going at home, Caleb? Good. 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 We've been studying. What did we make yesterday, Caleb? Uh, cookies. Turkeys. It sounded like you said cookie. Turkey. <laughs> we made a turkey because we're doing a gratitude turkey. Okay. What's a gratitude turkey? You will find out next week because you're going to be home. So we'll be adding feathers to the gratitude turkey. I think the last blog that I did, it was pretty much my our morning routine. And at that point, we were dropping the boys off at school. And eventually, we stopped doing that because it was taking way too long to get them. Go to Tisa. Bye. <laughs> It was taking way too long to get them there. Um, some mornings the line was just crazy long. So the bus stop is literally the next street over. So what I've been doing is just walking them down. I've been doing that in the morning. It's, they're so crazy. Like this is exactly why I don't blog. <laughs> they're out of control. But anyway, so they are having oatmeal once again. I think the last vlog they were having oatmeal as well. And um, we are well on our way to starting our day. Let me show you the madness that I have to do. Hey! See, whenever I turn the camera on you, it's hey, and it's all smiles. And then when I turn the camera on me, you guys start acting crazy. What's going on? <laughs> so here's my breakfast. They pretty much have the same thing. Um, pretty much it's instant oatmeal with blueberries. I put some coconut milk in it, a little bit of butter, tiny pinch of salt. Salt makes a big difference in oatmeal. I don't know what it is. Um, organic cane sugar and cinnamon. And that's what I'm going to be having with some with orange, orange juice. juice. Thanks for finishing my sentence with orange juice. Okay, what am I doing today? I'm going to be going to the gym. I want to return these apples from Wegmans because I bought them yesterday and they were like all mushy. I don't understand Ew. that. Yeah, they had like little bumps and bruises and stuff. Like you can see, like they just weren't in good condition. So I'm getting my buddy back or I'm getting a new bag of apples. And so, yeah, Jonah Gold is a type of apple. I like Jonah Gold apples better than what Jonah, Jonah Gold. Jonah Gold, those are the kind of apples I get. <laughs> You're so silly. You're losing a tooth. Show them your wiggly tooth. 
Oh, and it's wiggling. He's seven, and he's lost a few teeth by now. No, five. Five. Yeah, you're not. Five. Make that six. You're not. What? I said you're seven, and you've lost a few teeth by now. You got five. Yeah. Look Levi, at him. Clean your oh, look at your shirt. Oh. oh. Look at him. He's look so at happy. He dancing. Levi. Okay, we got to change his hand. We can read Christian books, he suggested when the teacher called on him. Mr. Jensen nodded. Who else can suggest something to use as a banner? The blue yogurt? Mm -hmm. All right, shoes away. Yogurt time? Mm -hmm. Can I get yogurt now? Mm -hmm. Blue or pink? So pretty much I've been going to the gym. It's a part of my brand new routine. Just one is fine, go ahead. And um, after the boys get on the bus, um, we normally come back inside. I kind of tidy up a little bit, like 10 minute tidy, whatever is left out from that morning. And then um, we head over to the YMCA because I'm trying to make my health a priority. Um, something that I've been putting on the back burner for years of my life. And so that's pretty much um, what happened after I put the boys on the bus. It is 831. The goal is to be in the gym about nine, yeah, before nine, and then leave before 10. That's the very general terms. But my workout is about 40 minutes. I do 15 minutes of cardio on the treadmill where I do like sprints. I like walk for a minute, run, walk, run, run. And then by run, I mean like crank it as high as I can for a minute, turn it back down to like a high speed walk, and then crank it. So back and forth, back and forth. Do that for 15 minutes. And then I do whatever. Um, I'm not like an expert, so I only do like either upper body and lower body. So yesterday I did upper body, I did arms and I did back. Um, and uh, yeah, arms and back and abs. And today I'm going to be doing legs, the booty. Um, yeah, mostly legs and bottom. So I just break it up into upper body and lower body. And I do that every other day for at least four days a week. So today's Thursday. Um, and I guess this is the last day of my workout week. I guess you know, Fridays I don't do the gym. I don't. So yeah, that's what I'm getting ready to do. Done from the gym, back from the gym, and we're jumping into what are uh, we doing? Reading lesson. Reading lesson with teach your child how to read in a hundred easy lessons. We are in lesson forty-one. He's very happy because why? What letter is that? K. And the case for Caleb. So he couldn't wait until we finally got to the lesson where the new sound of the day was K for him. So we're gonna get through this, and then we're gonna go downstairs and do the rest of our activities. L. E. Go. Wait, this way? Mm -hmm. You're doing it the right way. Keep going. Yep. Uh, mm -hmm. It needs to be a little lower next time. It's okay. And now the B starts at the top line, right? And a bump at the bottom. Go ahead and finish. Bump at the bottom. Is that T? B. Mm -hmm. Bump at the bottom. That's a big bump. Okay, now your last name. Come on down. And step down now. Line down. Line down. And then the curve at the top. Curve at the top. Mm-hmm. And the S. S. Circle. Mm-hmm. Wiggle. Good job. We're adding what we're grateful for to our grateful turkey. And today he said he's grateful for animals and his health. Yeah, go ahead and put it up. We're putting it on our bed. 
which one says red? Good job, right there. E. Pretty much our preschool at home schedule. Now, I started off trying to use a planner, but because I really just wanted something simplified, I didn't want to, I really just didn't want, I wanted a stress-free life right now. So <laughs> I found this little um, organizational chart for classrooms in um, Walmart. It was 75 cents, really cute. And what it did, what I did was I used dry erase marker because this is like a laminated surface. You put them together with these little links that came all together. And I just wrote our schedule. First we have reading lesson and then I put the little done clip next to it when we're done. Calendar and then story time, sight words review, written work, and then our hands-on learning activity. And after we're done with that, we are totally done for the day. As a matter of fact, school at 10 o'clock and it is 11.10. So that's pretty much the routine. It's about an hour that we spend from to do everything. And that usually includes like a snack break in between or something like that. So that's pretty much what we do for preschool at home now. Very soon back. Hours have passed by. I'm the worst at vlogging. So pretty much after the gym and after preschool at home, I hopped in the shower, got dressed, and me and Caleb went and ran some errands we needed to get some things to make some costumes for his older brother well we're all gonna do it tomorrow is book character day at um solomon and levi school and um solomon is going to be the kid from diary of a wimpy kid i forget what the name of the main character is so he's gonna be that and levi is going to be pete the cat so let me show you what i've been working got on some felt and here is gonna be levi's little um pete the cat hat made out of felt which was, is really cute. I have to go get a glue gun because for whatever reason I can't find mine. But I'm gonna pretty much, it's two pieces. I'm gonna glue gun the ends together all around here so that he can slide it over his head. And these will be like Pete's eyes. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a nose on him, draw a nose on him in white and put whiskers on his face. It's gonna be so cute. Oh my gosh. And then I'm gonna make the buttons for, um, you know, if you know the story, Pete the Cat and his four groovy buttons. I have a yellow shirt. He has a yellow shirt upstairs and I'm going to pretty much cut out a, a green, a blue, a uh, pink and an orange button and like big felt buttons and put them on the sh down the shirt. And then for Pete's shoes, everyone knows Pete the Cat likes to wear the groovy red high tops. So I saw this on Pinterest where I just got red felt and this is gonna be um, each side of the shoe. So this is one shoe and on the inside, I'm gonna kind of put this strap underneath it so that he can just stick his foot into it and it'll be like a little red boot. And what I'm gonna do, I'm, right now I'm cutting strips of um, white felt and I'm going to have them kind of go across like laces and probably cut, cut this one strip into like three different ones and then just do like, you know, lace it, lace, 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 maybe like four laces and then put like a little bow at the top of each one. And those are gonna slide over his shoes so it can have red high top. So oh, cute. costume is super simple. Pretty much I just took a white, um, like um, Henley top or you can use, what are those things, thermal underwear. And I just used electrical tape because Diary of the Wimpy Kid is a cartoon. So we want him to look like a cartoon. It doesn't even look like a cartoon. It's gonna be so cute. So I'm gonna have him just wear it with some black pants um, and this top. And then what I'm gonna do is out of foam board, I drew the Diary of the Wimpy Kid's head. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut that out and I'm going to attach that to a baseball cap. So I'll have him wear a backwards baseball cap and I'll stick this on the um, back of the baseball cap. And what I'll do is I'll probably stick it to the baseball cap. I don't know, probably like in this area, probably hot glue the back of this to the baseball cap. And then I'm gonna cut out the mouth. So this portion will kind of be covering his eyes, Solomon's eyes, when he has the baseball cap on backwards. So he'll be able to see through the mouth. But other than that, he'll just look like, have this big like floating cartoon head. It's gonna be so good. I cannot wait to see him in this. And Caleb, um, we're gonna be, uh, what are we gonna be? 
Elephant and Piggy from the Mo Willems books, Elephant and Piggy. So all I'm going to do is make a headband. I'm going to be pig. So we're flipping it around. He's going to be elephant and I'm going to be pig because obviously it's funny because I'm big and he's small, but I'm going to be the pig and he's going to be the elephant. And I went to the Dollar Tree and I picked up some headbands. So what I'm going to do is, let me show you is so I have the headband and I have some pink felt and I'm just gonna wrap the headband in this and then make some like pig ears for myself and that'll be it. I think I might even make like a snout um, out of like a styrofoam cup. I'll do like a styrofoam cup and then make like a little felt pig snout on the end of that and then just make it so that punch a hole on the sides of the snout so I can like put a string, a ribbon and wear it around my face. And then for Caleb, he's going to be elephant. So pretty much I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to wrap a headband in gray felt and then bake like elephant ears on each side. So when he puts it on, he'll have like two ears sticking out the side and I'll do the same thing. I'll just do like a elephant trunk coming out of a styrofoam cup I'm just doing the most but I love it I love stuff like this I really do let me show you my outfit of the day because I've been posting on Instagram outfits because I've been trying to just not look like a flaming hot mess every day and so what I have on is my little lumberjack get up today it ended up being a lot warmer outside than I thought it was gonna be but can you see me so I have my um, red and black buffalo check button down fleece shirt and then I have this faux leather vest that has like this faux Sherpa lining here real cute hey hey and then I have on some black not what am I talking about some blue jeans that I got from the um, Goodwill these are forever 21 um, blue jeans they had original tags still attached and then I have on some um, boots and that's it I got this lumberjack vibe <laughs> going on and I feel like when you're dressed like this you're supposed to go Christmas shopping like you should I should just be shopping for Christmas gifts but we're not ready to do that yet so um it was just nice to actually put myself together after being gross going to the gym and um you know putting on something nice so after I finish up these little crafts um these projects for the boys for their costumes for tomorrow. Um, I'm going to fold up a couple of loads of laundry. It is 2.36, the boys will be home. Their bus gets here at 3.40. So I'm gonna kind of just put a wrap on this and just deal with this rest of the stuff later. I can do this stuff tonight, um, glue it all up and everything, but I have the templates laid out. And then what I'm going to do, is I'm going to fold up a couple load of laundry. And then after the boys get home, we'll jump into homework. And I usually do dinner like right after they're done with their homework. But tonight I have plans to go to Home Depot with a friend because Home Depot is having one of those days where they show you how to do like a Christmas um, decor idea, or whatever. It's like a live demonstration presentation. And then if you like it, you can buy the items and make it yourself. And I thought it would be really cool to do that because it's on a Thursday night. And usually when Home Depot has like little projects and stuff like that, it's like on a Saturday or whatever, and it's for the kids and stuff. I sit in on this um, presentation and tutorial on how to make um, really cute it's like a ornament display that looks like a Christmas tree but they're doing it on like wood and it's like painted in gray and white stripes and then there's like the ornaments in the form of a Christmas tree it's just really cute so I thought we could just go together and do that mm -hmm. 